As I was saying before, I was rudely interrupted by my old laptop dying. Over the past couple of years, Pixart has become a little bit less frequent on this channel. It doesn't mean I don't do it or that I've lost interest. Far from it. In reality, my life in Japan is kind of going the way I hoped it would. I have a job that on the whole I enjoy, and my lifestyle, though not one of riches, is going the way that I want it as well. In fact, back in 2019, I even pretty much said what I expect to be doing with my life in Japan, drawing manga. And also there are certain things which I'm looking at here that I think to myself, well this is a good start because this is the kind of area of work that I do want to go into. I want to be doing more illustration work and hey, maybe one day I'll be able to make my own manga and that properly as a, you know, a published author and so forth. So this has actually been quite enlightening for me. That video received very little views. I think most people will be switched off by a video which actually shows you an old computer for creative purposes, compounded by the niche interest in manga, well, niche as far as Western standards go, and to stop it all, my skills three years ago left much to be desired. But that's not being hard on myself, it's just the fact that I recognised that I needed time back in my life to be able to work on my artwork, and through that, improve. In a way, it's fair to say I'm more of an artist that happens to use an Amiga from time to time, even in 2022, rather than an Amiga user that does art. Any of you who do follow me will know that I'm making a manga just as I alluded to in the above clip, Future Saviors, and that is where most of my artistic energy goes these days. As such, most of my pixel art output is related to this project, screwing about and generally having fun. I made a fairly conscious decision early on that I wanted to focus my time on the things I truly felt the most for when I moved to Japan. This is why I turned down some offers to work on graphics or games. I'm really sorry. It's not to say that I'll never do graphics or a retro game. I've made no secret, for one, that one day I'd like to create something along the lines of Snatcher or Police Knots, but for the Game Boy of all things. But I recognise that I lack the hours in my day to be doing all of the things that I love. Also for me, screwing about with this old stuff is really just for fun. It's not a serious endeavour for me. I don't want to be creating money out of it, nor do I hope to get some life-sustaining commissions out of it either. And nor do I honestly want to, to be honest with you. I believe in the balance of my life as it stands now, where I have a job working with people and zero use of a computer, I have time to skate and enjoy visiting places in Japan, time to study the language, time to play video games rather than just talk about them, and most importantly, the time just to be an artist. So I guess that explains why you don't perhaps seem to see as much from me in terms of pixel art these days, but it doesn't mean that I'm not actively working on it. As I said nearly three years ago in that clip, I wanted to orientate my life towards illustration and creating my own manga, so I guess that's mission accomplished. Future Savers is available for all to read for free. Not that many do mind, but it's there, and over the years I'll be continuing the story. Maybe even one day, try and contact a few publishers and see where that takes me. In the meantime, I'm sure you'll see plenty more pixel art from me here, in amongst the colour pencil, Copic marker and ink based videos as well, and I hope you'll continue to enjoy it as much as I enjoy creating it. If you want to find out more about the pixel art techniques I used in this video, check out the video I made on Colin Lamarsal Tommy two years back. That will tell you all you need to know in terms of my processes. Unfortunately, because as I mentioned, my laptop died, most of the process of creating this particular picture was lost. Anyway, that's all for this one. I hope you enjoyed this finished image of Saki. It's actually for an animation. I hope to create a fake game opening sequence over the next few months, but we'll see. It's best to live life at a pace that suits you, rather than one that the Matrix, sorry, social media often demands of so-called content producers. This image will be used as it was in the previous animations I've been working on. It will probably take me well into next year if I'm honest, not just a few months. Uh, maybe even into the following year after that. But I'm in no hurry, it's just for the fun of it. So that means you'll have lots of pixel art to enjoy on this channel, as always. I hope you found it interesting, and I guess that all it remains to be to say is see you soon. Take care, peace.